Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed. October 15, 2017 at 126 a.m. in Birmingham. A lot of you asking, why am I beating this drum Agenda 21 again? Well, because it's more important today than it was a month ago or a year ago. And why is it more important today? Because we have, in our country, Recall some people talking about were some of the last dominoes to fall that will bring the world under total control of a single entity. First, you have everything being wrapped up, neatly tied with a bow and handed over to the UN and the Pope. And they'll hand the package over to Satan's choice, Satan's handpicked person to run the world, and he'll be the Antichrist. Guys, this is biblical. It's still in front of us. We've not got there yet. And just last Tuesday, we had 105 events, ranging anywhere from Texas must not be a sanctuary state for abortions to U.S. not prepared for, for a flu pandemic and humans are blamed for wildfires getting worse, not just by climate change. And this is not just pointing at California by any stretch of the imagination. Nambia, 100 hippos die of a suspect anthrax outbreak and you have volcanoes erupting you get six on that day and you have six earthquakes on that day over six over 5.0 magnitude you you have so many things that's taking place right now worldwide and you have china all of a sudden they're siding back with north korea and you have russia you know, Russia just, well, Israel discovered through their intel that Russia, well, I'll read that in just a moment. It's, it's really short. It's just a title. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you. Right now, you have globalism and the abomination of desolation. This is leaming. This is right in front of us. And you have the growing Iranian Hezbollah confidence to take on Israel after ISIS. In other words, ISIS supposedly being defeated, well, maybe pushed out of Iraq. I'm not so sure about defeated. And Donald Trump will withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal. That needs to be done. 2017 Feast of Tabernacles celebration in Jerusalem is prophecy fulfilled. Near midnight is God judging. Daily Jot, Supreme Court hands Trump a travel ban victory, and that's good for America. And, and there's so many articles here, but let's go to one. Somebody asked a question. Punishment or rewards await Christians in heaven? That's with a question mark. There'll be no punishment in heaven, guys, not for Christians. There won't be punishment for anyone in heaven because if you're not saved, you're not going there. So that was a question. I don't know who asked it, but that was a, well, globalism in the abomination desolation. For many years, I thought it was simple. Abomination desolation. I thought it was the, the Satan or the Antichrist, when he comes to power, he'll be the one that the world would choose to run, at least from here throughout the European countries. And I'm talking about north and south, all directions, but the east. The Asian countries won't be affected by the Antichrist. Not all of them, because the Bible says the kings of the east, 200 million men army, will go against They'll go against, like I said earlier, mainly the spoils of war, but they will go against the Antichrist because he's the one to defeat to get the spoils of war. At that time, he'll just be another evil 
world, just like Kim is or Un is over in North Korea, just another evil man. But let me tell you what happens. Desolation doesn't mean that Satan has stepped into the temple to desecrate it. It means a whole lot more than that. God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let him have dominion over all the fish in the sea, all the birds in the air, over all the cattle, over all the earth, and over everything on the earth and in the earth. So then he created man in his own man image, and then he created female and said, let him and her, let man and woman go forward, be fruitful and multiply and, multiply and replenish the earth. That is what we look at as godly. God told us to do these things, but that's not what Satan is looking at. His whole idea is a one world order. That is Satan's idea. And this is what the left liberal is trying to do, is package it for this man that's not yet known. It will go to the Pope and then the, to the UN, and then the two of them will divide this country up. Let me tell you, tell you what will happen one moment after the church is removed, one moment, listen to me, please, one minute later, the deep sorrows of the abomination of desolation is not just desecrating the new temple that the Jews built, the third temple. There's much more, and here it is. There will be no mercy for anyone this new religion is far more vile than Muslim terrorists. Children will be molested and viciously slaughtered in front of parents. The Antichrist image will be a dark creature. Anyone that is a Jew or professing Christian will be hated and hunted for destruction. There will be at least millions slaughtered every day. Burial will be done by bulldozers. Sodomy will rule the world. Look up the definition of sodomy, but when you see what you read, add to that animals. That is sodomy. Children of unsaved parents will be the source of great sorrows. Anyone rejecting the mark of the beast will be subject to horrible assault until they submit or else die. Remember, God said, if you hold out for Christ's sake, then I will give you a crown of life. In other words, you'll die, but you'll receive a crown of life and you will go to heaven. Those who take the mark will be immediately possessed by demon spirits in a dark moral plunge into sodomy. This is the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, guys. The Bible said, as in the days of Noah, and then it says, in, as in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, it'll be again. It'll be the bottom, it will be like the bottomless pit has become the worldwide lifestyle. In other words, there's no bottomless pit down there. It's up here now, and you're in it. Guys, I'm beating this drum because everything I've told you is real, and it's going to come to pass, and it's going to come to pass. I'll tell you again, I'm 68. I'll be 69 in May. I believe I'll be alive when we're raptured. I believe I'll be alive when the church is taken away. And it talks about the children and the women or the, the families that aren't Christian. Therefore, the children aren't Christian. The age of accountability, the, those under that won't be here. They'll be taken out. Those who understand and are accountable for themselves will be the ones left here if they are not saved. Any person will be left here if they're not saved. And that list I just read to you is what will happen. And to top it all off, 
that is the worst kind of communist and socialism that you can imagine. But that's going to come to pass. That will happen one day. No one knows when. But if you knew the date and the hour, I believe, I promise you right now that you would be busting your kneecaps to make sure that you're not left behind. I believe that the same would hold true for me. I'm saved and I, I ask for forgiveness every day, but I would bust my knees on the floor going down if I knew how close it was. And I think it's close. I think it's very close. I'm just telling you the reason for me beating that drum, Agenda 21, because Agenda 21 is a very evil thing that's going to come about. It's not just for the United States. It's for every country. The countries who will fall are the countries who have no guns. This is why we are the last country to fall. And what would make us fall? Well, you're not going to get our guns. Forget that. You're not going to get our guns. So what would make us fall would be the church being removed. Then this country will fall. Jody Wolf exposed.